When I was in graduate school, my teacher knew someone who had worked at a small camera manufacturing place in Rochester, New York. When the owner finally threw in the towel, he said, take as many cameras as you want. And he had all these five by seven cameras and we all bought the cameras. And it was a real eye opener for me. I know a lot of artists and curators think in terms of intention. And I find that question beside the point. I think there's so much more to human experience than what we understand. So that led me to want to continue to work with the five by seven because I did not want everything in focus. And the thing that's really amazing to me about this camera is that with the back of the camera, and the front of the camera in combination. You can do these things that are called swings and tilts. I can change the plane of focus. I think of it actually as like a cubist way of looking at something in space. I found the olive trees were perfect because there's a lot of empty space. If there's empty space, you don't get anything on your film there. But there might be a leaf in the foreground and a tree or a mountain in the background and I could set my plane of focus so that both are in focus but that a lot of other stuff turns into this soft counterpoint to the sharp things. But the idea was that it would be unclear. That sense of gravity and your relationship in space with the subject matter would be disrupted. One of the things that bugged me about photography was the idea that a photograph is telling a truth that's a single truth. So there was a way in which having two pictures next to each other entirely broke the myth of a singular truth, which I liked a lot. That appealed to me entirely. One person standing here and one person standing here are gonna have two different opinions and the world will look different. Two photographs, one next to each other, is a kind of metaphor for that. It's two ways of looking at something. People have often written about my olive tree pictures as though they're portraits of olive trees. To me, they're not portraits of olive trees. If anything, they're stage out of which the viewer stepped into the gallery or their home and turned around and said, oh, that's where I was, you know, or that's where I've been, or that's where I am. It's a counterpoint. I just got chills thinking about this. It's very meaningful to me that there are moments when with nature, we don't feel the boundary as much. And I think that's kind of a goal for me. The title of the show is Joanne Verberg for Now. It's about now. The viewer brings the now by choosing to go to the gallery, and that's a present tense, present moment experience.